Anakin, Javiers. All of us know about the event that happened near the island of Mauritius, which is in Africa, and the event is that a ship called MV Walker Shield went aground and it just started, all the oil just started leaking out. And this has been a rock or a sandbrick or anything, and this is really bad for the marine animals and the marine ecosystem and all the other tourists. And today I'm going to show you a practical model of this event and I'm also going to show you the map of the pressure of the oil and also the map of the pressure of the water. So let me show you the practical model first. This is a practical model. Here as you can see I have my stone or sandberg or whatever and here I have my, my oil that uh, just leaked out, that spilled out. And here I have my ship. Here I have all my corals. There's a little marine animal. There's a little turtle right here. And here I have my island of Mauritius. Now, this boat was going, this ship was going to the shallow waters because of a human error. The, maybe the captain lost its navigational route and didn't go the way it was supposed to go. Or maybe the fathometer didn't work. Speaking about fathometer, the fathometer is in every ship. The fathometer actually sends the sound signals down to the seabed. And depending on how long it takes to go down and to come back, back to the ship, that's how the fathometer understands that how far away is the seabed from the bottom of the ship. So maybe the fathometer wasn't working well either. And so, when this ship was going towards the shallow water, it hit a stone or sandberg, whatever, and that's when it just stopped going, and it couldn't go any direction, and that's when all the oil started leaking, spilling out. And this is the practical model of what happened. Now I'm going to show you the math of the pressure of the oil and also the pressure of the water. Okay, so first let's pretend that this is our ship. Okay, and here is the deck and whatever and where the captain drives. And up to here is the mark of how much oil it's filled with. So this is the height of the oil. And the water is up to here. And so this point is actually called the P1. And to figure out the P1, we also have to know the pressure naught, which is actually the pressure of the atmosphere. And everybody knows that the pressure of the atmosphere is 101 kilopascal. Okay? So if we have to figure out the pressure, the P1, then we have to multiply with the density, uh, which acts the rho, which acts the density, times the gravity, and times the height of the oil. Okay? And to figure out the rho of the oil, we need to figure out the rho of the water times the specific gravity of the oil. Oh, sorry, we have to figure out the specific gravity of the oil. And so, when we, and we all know that 20 degrees Celsius, when the 20 degrees Celsius is the density, is the temperature, the density of the water, then it's 900, it's a, sorry, it's 900, no, sorry, it's 998 kilograms kilograms per cubic meters okay and the specific gravity of the oil is equals to 0 0.8 and so to figure out the rho of the oil or the density of the oil then what we have to do is that 9 then what we have to do is that 998 times 0 0.8, which is actually equals to 
kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, and so let's place this since this is the row, then let's place that in this equation. The pressure, the P1, is equals to 798.4, which is actually the density, the rho, times the gravity, which everyone knows is 9.8, times whatever the height is of the oil. So, using this equation, you can figure out that how much pressure the oil is giving to this point and how much pressure the water is giving to this point. Because if one or the other is too much more than the other, then this oil will automatically start spilling out and leaking. That's exactly what happened. There was a rock or a sandberg or anything, and that the rock or the sandberg had too much more pressure than the oil, which caused the oil to start leaking. So now you know that why this uh, ship actually started leaking. This could have just like stayed aground on the rock or the sand burger, but it didn't. It automatically automatically started leaking. And now you know why that actually happened. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum.